Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 30th. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about Ehang and recent EVTOL related conferences. First, about China Civil UAS Development International Forum. China Civil UAS Development International Forum. Held August 25th in Changchun. Note, here UAS stands for Unmanned Aircraft System, which may also include AAV or Autonomous Aerial Vehicle. The forum was one of the co-events of 2022 Changchun Airshow. Ehang participated in the event. Ehang 216 was displayed in the Drone Exhibition Hall at the Air Show event. This photo shows EH-216 AAVs exhibited at the event. Ehang CEO Hu Huaji also gave a speech at the forum. The speech will be discussed a bit later. Next, about Advanced Air Mobility International Conference. Advanced Air Mobility International Conference. Held August 25th in Shanghai. Coincidentally, this conference was held on the same day as the forum held in Changchun. Next, about Ehang participating in Fourth World New Energy Vehicle Conference. The Fourth World New Energy Vehicle Conference was be held in Beijing and Hainan from August 26th to 28th in a combination of online and offline format. The conference was jointly organized by China Association for Science and Technology, Beijing Municipal People's Government, Hainan Provincial People's Government, Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, Ministry of Ecology and Environment, Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development, Ministry of Transport, State Administration for Market Regulation, and National Energy Administration. At the conference's technical session, Flying Car Technology Innovation and Development Path. Jiang Yutao, Vice President of Ehang, delivered a speech with the presentation title, Smart Air City, Urban Air Mobility Applications. From these conferences or forums, it is good to see that EVTOL and UAM will be developing and gaining attention as time goes on. Next, about Ehang CEO keynote speech at China Civil UAS Development International Forum. Keynote speech. From cargo to passenger operations to airworthiness specific conditions. By Ehang CEO Hu Huaji at China Civil UAS Development International Forum. August 25th Changchun. On August 25, the 2022 China Civil Unmanned Aviation Development International Forum was held in Changchun with the theme of Innovative Practice Leading the Development of Unmanned Aviation. This forum is hosted by the Civil Aviation Administration of China and organized by the Changchun Municipal People's Government and the China Air Transport Association. The forum focused on the two major topics, safety and development and conducted active and in-depth discussions on how to establish and improve the regulations and standards of autonomous aerial vehicles, strengthen the coordinated supervision of autonomous aerial vehicles, and promote the healthy progress of the industry. It concentrated on the achievements made in China's unmanned aviation-related policies, regulations, standards, airworthiness certification, commercial operations, air transport services, etc., and using technological innovation to promote the global development in synergy and safe integration of unmanned aviation and traditional aviation industry. Witnessed by relevant leaders of the Civil Aviation Administration of China, authoritative experts in the global industry, various enterprises, and the media, Hu Huaji, founder, chairman and CEO of Ehang delivered a keynote speech, from cargo to manned operation to airworthiness special conditions, sharing. The application practice of autonomous flight technology from cargo to passenger, and the development of airworthiness certification work, and how Ehang has explored the realization of urban air mobility through autonomous technology. Next, about the summary of Ehang CEO keynote speech. Summary of Ehang CEO keynote speech. From cargo to passenger, autonomous aviation empowers transportation. In his speech, Hu Huaji talked about Ehang's exploration path and process for urban air transport from cargo to passenger based on autonomous flying technology. At present, Ehang's self-driving aircraft have completed a large number of self-flying demonstrations in real application scenarios such as air logistics, passenger transportation, air tourism, medical emergency response, and fire rescue. Why Ehang chose and insisted on autonomous aircraft from the very beginning? Why did Ehang choose and insist on being an autonomous aircraft from the very beginning? Autonomous aviation has the advantages of safety, energy saving, high efficiency, convenience and cost reduction, and has broad development prospects. Autonomous flying, key and core part of the future. 
China's low altitude has gradually opened up, and the technology of autonomous flying has also become mature. Whether it is carrying cargo or people, autonomous flying is undoubtedly a key part and a core part of the future. UAM Three-Dimensional Transportation Network At present, urban ground space is becoming increasingly occupied, and traffic congestion is serious. Continuous vertical development in the air and expanding new growth space are the main directions of future urban development, and the traffic of autonomous aerial vehicles will help the further development of high-density cities, reduce the occupation of urban land, and give full play to the flexibility of urban flight. The convenient and fast features help build a comprehensive urban three-dimensional transportation network and continuously improve the needs of smart city public management. Services Calling on the industry to unite and expand the market together. The future has broad prospects, and we need everyone to work together. Hu Huaji also called on the industry to unite, expand the market together, and jointly promote the great development and prosperity of China's urban air mobility industry. Safety first, what we do is not airplane, but safety. Hu Huaji stated, what we do is not airplane, but safety. The word that Hu Huaji talked about most in his speech was, safety. In his opinion, whether it is carrying cargo or carrying people, safety always comes first, and the most important problem to be solved by autonomous aircraft is safety. Safety first should be the first principle that aviation personnel must keep in mind at all times. EH-216's leading position with close to 30,000 safe test flights. A Hang self-flying aircraft has always been in a leading position. Its flagship product, the EH-216's passenger self-flying aircraft, has completed nearly 30,000 safe test flights, including passenger carrying flights, without a single safety accident. Compared with similar products in EVTOL, EH-216S has the technical advantages of automatic flying, preset route, cluster management, etc. It does not require a pilot, and can effectively avoid safety accidents caused by human error. Safety Assurance with Full Backup in addition, the design of the EH-216S incorporates the concept of full backup borrowed from the IT field. All key flight components are designed with full backup, including flight control systems, various sensors, power systems, batteries, etc., which can fully guarantee real-time dynamic flight safety. Hu Huaji believes that the aircraft used in urban air mobility must be fully designed to ensure safety, and the advantages of autonomous flying, redundant design, and cluster scheduling will escort Ihang's autonomous passenger flight. Command and Dispatch System Closed Loop for All-Round UAM Ecosystem Different from most other peer companies, Ihang's intelligent urban air mobility solution not only considers the design and manufacture of aircraft hardware, but also takes its self-developed intelligent aircraft command and dispatch system as an important closed loop to create an all-round urban air mobility ecosystem. The system lays the foundation for Ihang's future. Safety re-emphasized absolute safety design concept realizing human freely fly dream. When talking about safety again, Hu Huaji said, first of all, we must try our best to achieve absolute safety in the design concept. With this kind of design thinking, it can make people fly safely and truly conquer the sky, and realize the human freely fly dream. The above is the summary of the keynote speech. From the summary, we may gain further appreciation about the absolute safety design concept in Ihang's AAV system. The more we learn about the safety and advantages of Ihang's AAV system, the more we may value Ihang's achievements. On the other hand, in the short term, the general stock market may have different opinions about Ihang and the timing of the type certification. The timing is critical, and no one knows the exact timing. Do your own due diligence before making your investment decision. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.